Yes, pictures are good. They have pictures, but I they're all in pic- black and white. I love pictures, I love even pictures. if they're in black and white. Like your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> My name is Alina Adams. I was born in Odessa, USSR. I wrote two books set in the Soviet Union. My daughter was born in America. I'm going to tell her about the Soviet experience through books. This week's book for learning about the Soviet Union, Winning Women's Hearts and Minds, Selling Cold War Culture in the U.S. and the USSR. This is our first nonfiction book. This is about how in the 1950s and 60s, there was a Russian language magazine published in the Soviet Union called America that was supposed to teach or let's say, enlighten Soviet citizens about life was like in America. Now, obviously, it was a propaganda effort. And at the same time, there was an English language magazine that was distributed in the West that was about what life was like in the Soviet Union. And it was a really interesting look at what did the American government, because it was a publication of the American government, think was America's big selling point and what did they think people in the Soviet Union, and by people we mean women because it was a women's magazine, would find attractive. The most important thing to the American publishers who were tasked with showing American life to Soviets so that Soviets would go, ooh, I love capitalism, was obviously of things you could buy. So most of the pictures are of fashion, they're of kitchen appliances, they're of supermarkets, they're of all the things that the Soviet public did not have, and so America hoped they would sway them over to their side politically by showing them pretty pictures of uh, pretty people in pretty clothes, shopping in pretty supermarkets, and then going home and cooking in pretty kitchens but it was also easy because they had all these appliances and mixes and if they had a borscht mix I'm sure they probably would have sold that but they don't there's no such thing as a borscht mix that I know of there probably is but it's just disgraced everybody (laughs) so we know what's in this book what is one thing you wish this book had more of well I wish it had two things first of all they spend a lot of time on America the Russian language magazine that was sold in the Soviet Union they don't spend a lot of time on the sister publication which was the English language magazine that was sold in the United States I was really curious as to what the Soviet Union thought their selling point was to show Mm. to Americans they mention it a little bit they talk about gender equality in that in the Soviet Union women worked as construction workers and that they worked as engineers and so that was one of the things they were selling. They also talk about racial equality which is kind of an interesting situation in that yes the Russian language American magazine didn't talk very much about the civil rights struggle and they didn't talk about what was going on racially in the United States so the Soviet Union tries to say look it's much better here than it is there it's much easier to have rights for African Americans in a country with no African Americans. So that's one of those things that I wish I had known more about what it was the Soviet Union was selling. But I also would have wanted to know how did the Soviet people who read this magazine respond to it because I'll give you an example I remember talking to your grandmother my mother once and I was talking about the fact how when she was growing up they were told that they were living in the best country in the world they were also told you know if you don't have food or if you are sharing a communal apartment with multiple people and this is the best place in the world imagine how awful it must be in other countries and um, your grandmother my mother said to me to mention to me once that she remembered when she was maybe 12 or 14 years old going to see the movie Father of the Bride which was the original not the one with Steve Martin the one with Elizabeth Taylor and Spencer Tracy in which the plot is a young girl gets married and her family it's such a mess planning the wedding and you know wackiness ensues and I said to your grandmother my mother I said I don't know how else to phrase this and so I said to her so you were being told that you lived in the best country in the world that if you were lacking anything that means people in the rest of the world were lacking it even more I said but you saw a movie like Father of the Bride, where the family was not wealthy, at best they were upper middle class, but you saw that they lived in a house where they had multiple rooms. I said to her, how could you have believed that you were living in the best country in the world and you had everything, you had more than anybody else when you saw movies like this? And she said to me, oh, well, we just thought it was a fairy tale. We thought they were making it up the same way that if they had seen The Wizard of Oz, they would have said, well, obviously there's no Oz. They would have said, well, obviously they're making it up. 